Breakfast with Mark Bester. Six to nine weekdays. All right, joining us on the line now is Len's wife, Chantal. Chantal, good morning. Thank you for coming uh, on the show uh, this morning. I appreciate that. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. I can imagine a very, very traumatic experience. Yeah, it is. I'm sorry that it ha- that it happened to you. Absolutely awful. Chantal, just just a bit of background. Um, so so Len is a. He, I mean, he looks like a bodybuilder. He's a bodybuilder, right? He just jibs the the gym. He's not a bodybuilder. He's very jibs. I I kicked us at life. I, Oh, I can't hold that stuff, yeah. yeah. I see a body, but I can't study shows. It's like a good thing. I don't know how to do it. And he's yeah. not always over by a gym. He's always loved gym. I have to go out, yeah, but I have to go out. I can't do it, yeah. Okay, what do you do, by the way? Um, I can help Verlin with the bezigheden. Um, okay. Yeah. So, say it for me, have you ever been back to that day? There was obviously a lot more happening on the day before the day. As wat ons mense nou gesien het in die video, is ek reg. Ja, nee, is ek. Wat het gebeur? Jy het by die gasthuis aangekom om oor te bly? Ja, ons het by dat dag hier gehoord. En daar was onder ons iets. Um, maar ek kan nie veel oor alles uitbrei nie as die volk onder ek baie sensitieve saak is. Mm, mm, mm. Um, die onder ons iets met, met, met die gasthuis of met die politie? Die, dat was dat, dat was onder ons iets met die met die gasthuis geweest en ja. daar is een dag die politie uitgekomen en dat was onder ons iets met die politie ook geweest maar alles was op was dat was ja ja um, so, zoals ik zei ik kan er niet veel uitbreiden te zeggen maar maar in just in general terms obviously so there was there was a problem with the guest house and the police got contacted by the police by the guest house or by you by the guest house, oh, okay. and by us. We also found police. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then the, the video that went viral, um, how many hours later was that? The last video, we, uh, it was about four hours, three hours. Okay, so it's, it was going okay. on for a bit. Who took the video? Yeah. Our late space friend took the video. Okay. And then he obviously also... Uh, it got it got out from there, obviously from 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 his phone phone onwards. Uh, so so by, by the way, so it was it was yourselves and your, and your best friends that that had a, a day out and then ended up at this guest house together. Yeah, the best one. Mm-hmm. So if I may ask, I mean, obviously the the video you know starts with with um, um, Len not wearing any clothes at that stage. I mean, is that something you want to talk about? What? Yeah, I I sleep in the sea, so I like that I will come slow if I smug and I'm listening to the ice and I fly in the calm storm and I'm all about the ice and I'm going to get 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 the Okay. Mm. Because I mean, obviously, and it's and it must be horrible for you. A lot of people speculate, and a lot of people have comments on the video. Yeah, and, and that's one of the things people were. A lot of people were wondering about, you know, what what was going on in the room when the police got there. En dis hoe ons op die inkomer opgeëindig het. Ek het sy vali was al in die bed, ek het vir ons koffie gemaakt, en ek het in die slaap geraak, en die next maand het hulle ingestorm. En het was na perfeel, en wel om dat tijd druk, en ja, de tijd voor die eskeleid het van die. So, so your friends are waiting in your room for their room? Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then just to show the police that he wants to go to bed, he put on his pajamas, and that's obviously where the video picked up with him, you know, put, putting putting yeah. clothes on. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So is is I mean I I I also saw people talking about Len saying you know he's he's not you know generally an aggressive guy. Is that how you know him? Yes, yes. No, he's a good man. He's a good man. He's a good man. 
der er heller lige været kræn, og så får mig lige, at jeg er på Facebook, og kan jeg ikke få mig på Facebook, og kan ikke gøre noget. Men altså, man kan sige, at jeg er på et af på ugen, og så er jeg virkelig gået, og så er jeg 18 måneder på et Ik moet die zakleren gaan aantrekken. Ik heb een papa gewijs die lijkt kijk. En dan met leen gebruik. Ik heb een mooie leeftijd gehaald. En ik heb een keer gegaan. En dan met elke dag. Ik heb een keer naar het gesprek. Ik heb een keer naar het gesprek. Ik heb een keer naar het gesprek. Maar ik heb een keer naar het gesprek. 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 Shant, your line, your line is getting so so bad. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah. So your your line is breaking up badly. From what I can hear, what you're saying is that he's a, a big family man, seven kids, spends a lot of time with the kids, uh, from from the morning to to the evening. Just just to take you back to to the the incident um, when he was when he was holding his own gun, and then eventually took the the weapon from the police officer. What I mean, did you fear the worst from there? What What did you expect would happen next? I had never, never thought that a policeman, my man, and he could skip on a meter away of me. Never. And Len was in in no yellow fight that they had. It as a bit unlike the Frau who was stamped by the officer. That I thought she was actually a bit sorry, sorry. So. Hierdie het, het, hulle het hom so gekogel en, 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 en hulle, hulle het uit, hulle hoeveel keer gevra, arresteer my, arresteer my. En, en hulle het nie, hulle het net aangehou om die feit te eskaleer en te eskaleer en om uit te kogel en uit te kogel. So now, I never expected that. I never expected that police wouldn't follow protocol. I never expected that someone would shoot my husband point blank. Um, from that range. No. And, and, and tell me, I mean, from, from what I can judge from what you said now and, and your reaction to when the police were there in the room, did you feel like they were harassing you or bothering yes. you? I mean, I mean you, you seemed surprised or, or shocked at their reaction to you. Yes, I was, because we were in our sleeping room. I was in my sleep. I was in my sleep. You had to sleep. Ek het al geslaap, dit was al elf uur die nacht en hulle het al ingestorm en, en, en hulle wil ons uit die bed uitdruk, hulle wil hy ons moet uitgaan en want hy net een ding, Len is a family man en as ek jou van Len vertel, hy het my elf uur ont, het hy my in die bed gesit en dan het hy en my, my klein sienkie my beenkies opgesoen, dit my toegemaak en dan het Len my vertel, hy lief is as vir my en hy het gevoel, ek is op een warm plakkie, ek is veilig. En daai oomlik waar die polisies ons wou uitdruk uit daai kamer uit, het hy, verstaan nie, uit, dit is sy vrou, hulle gaan nie aan my, hulle gaan my nie uit die bed uitdruk nie, hy was, hy was skoor oor, dat hulle my uit die bed uit wil ruk, en waarom toe gaan hy met sy vrou kie, waarom toe, hy... Why, why do you think they wanted to do that? I don't know, I don't know, I mean, there's, there's... Did you do dialogue. something to, to, to lead them to that point? Nee, nee, hulle wou net gehad het ons moest uit, hulle wou net gehad het ons moest uit, en Len het op een story en vader gesê, as hulle, as hy die probleem is, arresteer my, hy het hoeveel keer vader gesê, arresteer my, en hulle het nie, hulle het nie, hulle het nie protokool gevolg nie, hulle het, hulle kon die, hulle kon die situasie so anders hanteer het, maar hulle het nie, hulle het gekies, hulle gaan ons skiet, en, en, ja, nou, social media gaan, gaan maal, hulle vertel al die goed van, van wie Len is, en, 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 ek, en ek waardeer dit nie, ek meen, uit sewe kinders, um, ek is sy vroukie, ek meen, vir ons om daar te wees, my man, terwijl hy vacht is sy leven, en om al die goed te hoor van social media, is my onaanvaardbaar, dit is nie, dit is nie vir my recht nie, dit wat gebeur, dit is vreselijk, dit is lelijk. Are you allowed to see him in, in hospital? Yeah, for 15 minutes. 15 minutes. And how's he doing? He's in a very critical situation. Hello, I supply support. Um, I love all this. The door thing I store up my secret apple. And, um, guys, what's the beer? Um, I like to know if a ball grew the score of any brain of me. 
maar hulle is gode, mm-hmm. en in die stage we are taking day for day, um, hour for hour, just hoping he will pull through, I mean, I, I, as my best in my key, I, I would have need more. Mm-hmm. You know, from 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 what you tell me, the one thing that stood out for me is that you're very upset with people speculating. Obviously, the fact that the video went viral and a lot of comments flying. But I'm presuming that with the investigation that is to follow, which is procedure, that uh, you know the the whole story and 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 everything will obviously come out to to set the record straight in a way, I guess, for you, for you. Yeah. 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 Sean. Mike wil lees en, en, en hy put is op die saak en ek vertrouw hulle 100% om die uitkom van die saak te kan hanteer en ek weet die, die, die waarheid so uitkom wat daar ja. ons gebeur het maar ek wil graag net vir die mense vraag as het lief respecteer ons as een familie en, en, en moet nie, moe nie stories opmaak nie moet nie, moe nie denk wat gebeur het weet jy dat wat gebeur het nie want dat was nie daar nie dat was nie daar nie Dit is een goeie man, dit is een goeie pa, en, en um, dit help nie ons as gesin om hier goed te hoor en, en te lees nie. Ek meen, my dochter die kan nie eens my school toe gaan mm. as gevolg van maaikies wat daar treiter nie. Mm. En sy is 7 jaar oud. Mm. Dit is onnoerig, dit is so onnoerig. Laat Mike Boerleis en, en sy span dit aan die, dit so, die waarheid so uitkom. Mm. Justice, will, justice will be served. Maar ek vroeg mense om ons net te respecteer. Dis al wat ek vroeg. Dis al. Was jy kwaad gewees vir sy, sy vriend wat die video geneem het? En alweer slecht gedeel het? Nee, glad nie. My man het vir my gevraag, as het lief, om die video te neem. Oh. En hy het, en hy het, en as hy nie die video geneem het nie, so, so die waarheid nie uitgekom het nie. Daar is soveel ander bewijse om te wees, wat daar ontgebeer het nie moes gebeur het nie, die situasie kon die politie omgedraai het, maar hulle het nie, hulle het nie. Chantal, ek sê vir jou baie dankie vir jou tyd, uh, all the best at home, uh, with yourself, and of course, obviously, um, probably most importantly, the kids. Alright. Thank you so much. Thank you for talking to us. Thanks Chantal. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Bye. Let's ask the people who are in the best position to know. On the line, Specialist Investigator Mike Borles. Mike, good morning. How are you? Morning. Thanks, Martin, for the opportunity. Yeah, most welcome. Thanks for taking our call. I know that you are also investigating this case, as I understand. What for Star in your stadium? What have you... What do you understand from what you have seen? All right. What the first understand must be the public is... Hier is die einde van die movie. Het is so goed soos jy gaan kyk een movie en jy stap in en die name kom op. So mm. jy is heel te mal recht, Martin. You're very right. Do not add or do the uh, devil's algebra add and subtract. And don't speculate. It's, it's an unfortunate incident. Uh, a man is seriously hurt. He is doing better though. But uh, this needs to, and we are thoroughly investigating both sides. And you need to see and watch the whole, whole movie. There's uh, many videos taken. This incident take, took place over a long period of time. And there's a lot of, um, as, as I say, uh, sides that needs to be taken in consideration who broke protocol. Because the police has protocol that it has to follow. And obviously the public in itself uh, also has rules and regulations to follow at that institution. And then why did it escalate in such a situation? From what we can see in the video that was widely shared, and as you say, that's the, the end of uh, the culmination, the climax of the whole situation. Yeah. Uh, what what can we what can we tell from that? Um, should the uh, the police investigate the way that they've handled it? Yes, and they do. They have given a statement uh, saying that they're doing that. They are taking it seriously. We are impressed with the way they are handling it. Okay. Uh, I must also say that we did not. A leak the video, neither did we know that the video was going to be leaked because we had all the evidence and we took in all the evidence and the police did as well. So somebody on the scene has kept a part of the videos and has decided to share it and we are busy finding out. It's illegal to share such uh, uh, criminal content sure. of an investigation okay. and I just want to make it very clear to the public that the video was not leaked by the police, neither us. It is somebody at the scene that did this. But yes, both sides will be thoroughly investigated. I, I don't think there will be any foul play at all. Uh, 
you know, the public now has seen this and there's a responsibility from us and the police to explain thoroughly what has happened. But I'd, I'd prefer the people please not to share it any further. And as you say, don't add and subtract. Now, I think a lot of people expressed surprise that the situation went as far as uh, him grabbing the weapon from a police officer. Uh, yes. A lot of people felt that the police should have defused the situation before it got to that point. What is your feeling about that? Well, that's you've said it and that's it. So, um, uh, and I'm only saying this um, as part of the investigation of our opinion. The police, when they are called out to a situation, should immediately do a complete evaluation, identification, and a risk analysis. The risk was higher. This is a big man. Um, I cannot uh, say anything about substances or what has been used or alcohol or anything. But if you see a situation that is out of control, you get in the dog unit or a stronger or a better unit and you diffuse it. Right there and then. Right there and then. Uh, you need to always uh, look the police must and should be always in a situation that they can immediately assess the situation and take immediate action. I mean, this from self spreken, this jy ergens instap en jy sien hier kan iets uh, uitbreek, dan gaan jy dit mos ontlont. Uh, dit is soos in die ou bouncer daar, as jy in die nachtklap sien, hier kom moeilikheid, dan gaan jy mos onmiddellik die mense verweide en iets doen, doen daar omtrend. En as, dit is die beste manier om dit te verduidelik. Maar, maar weer eens moet ons nou kyk na die hele omstandighede, hoekom het het so lang gevat, uh, dat was, dat was ure wat voorbij gegaan het, en okay. dat baie partijen betrokken. Is see, and this is the part that most people wouldn't know. Meeste mense sal nie weet, dat die situasie yeah. al vir ure aan die gang was nie. Yeah. Which, which could also obviously affect the way that the police handled it. Uh, you, 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 you must, you, you also get the impression that at that stage they felt almost like it was not a higher risk than it than it yeah. was yeah yes martin um, y- you know there's a dutch saying that says you you hear a bell you hear a bell somewhere but you don't know where the item is hanging you were a clock climber you didn't worry worry clock on me so it's it's very important important once again that the public understands mm-hmm. this there's a whole story to this and there's a lot of things that has happened and the police will have to answer on certain aspects sure. but as well as those that was involved and uh, taking in consideration um, our situation in our country pertaining protect and serve the police's ability uh, will be in question here um, that they follow the correct protocol there are certain protocols that the police must follow when they enter any uh, call out or situation what is the standard protocol in this country if someone holds a weapon and you as a police officer feel that it's a threat well, I mean, obviously if, if there's a perpetrator or an, uh, a situation that escalated and someone grabs a weapon what is is there a standard procedure Yes, um, I, I can get. Uh, I can give a, a procedure in the middle of it. I did send out a project where I said it very clearly. I've mentioned one already. When the police is called out, they need to immediately assess the situation. If they see it's above their pay grade, they should get the other police units in, and they should defuse it. So, if you have a weapon situation, there can only be other weapons drawn and used if there's absolute and imminent danger. It means the next moment this person. Uh, across from you, from the policeman, is going to draw his weapon or his knife, and the next plunge or shot will be uh, uh, harming life, either himself or somebody next to him or the policeman. Then the policeman is allowed, and obviously every person in the public, to defend his or her life. So uh, that is the end of the protocol, but the in-between protocol is the one that we would be looking at as to see why was the incident not handled in uh, as we see as our opinion uh, in a in a manner where this could have been prevented you should always look at the case of what have you done to immediately protect and serve and get the situation sorted between the parties and under control look it's under a, control it, yeah. it is a horrible situation there is a man seriously injured in hospital there's obviously a lot of stress with uh, the police officers um, yep. that were in that very very dangerous situation so people should uh, treat it you know with respect and, and, and wait for for formal investigation and 
Ja, yeah, hope that uh, justice is served from there. So, thank you for your chat. You say he is in the hospital and he is on the stadium. Is he stable? Ja, hy vers, hy, hy het sterk aan, hy is onder ernstige observatie, want die enige kopwond het uh, verskrikkelijke skade, is een baie sensitieve, meeste sensi- meest sensitiefste area op die lichaam, so hy is onder observatie, maar het klink vir my is uit gevaar. Ek wil net by sê, Maarten, <coughs> ek sal het baie waardeer as die publiek nou nie verder opinies lig oor dit nie, en het los vir die politie en ons wat daarby betrokken is, want ongelukkig het ons een baie groot probleem met die sociale media, dit ons stig en ons stel mense, hier is iemand wat in een hospitaal le, dit is moeilike omstandighede, dit is nie iets wat die mens alledaags beleef nie, en mense maak besluiten en betekent verkeerde besluiten, but not necessary maliciously. I'm not saying that the police was malicious here, here, neither them, I'm just saying that this incident has happened, and uh, we need to show our sensitivity, all of us, and not uh, abuse the social media and just... Uh, place a lot of nonsense and uh, uh, fake news around the situation specialist investigator Mike Wallace thanks Mike for your time thank you Mike thanks thank you Yellow. Right. Bye. Bye.